Hello everybody, my name is Carla Brading and I am going to be reading to you today. I've picked a very colourful story for you guys and I think you're going to love it. The reason I've picked something that's so colourful is I know you've all been working really hard putting rainbows in the windows for the NHS and doing your very best to stay at home, to stay safe, washing your hands. So that's fantastic. Well done, guys. You are little legends. So I have chosen for you a wonderful story called Dracula Spectacular by Lucy Rowland and Ben Mantle. And I'm going to share it with you today. So here we go. The opening page shows a very spooky family. Which one is your favourite? Have a little look. Some very spooky people there. This one is my favourite, Mr. Dracula himself. I love it. Right, so let's do this. Dracula Spectacular. What's going to happen? Okie dokie, here we go, guys. The Draculas lived in a house in the park. Can you see? Oh, what a lovely. It was creaky and crooked and dusty and dark, with midnight black ceilings, an inky black floor, raven black curtains and a batwing black door. Each day, Mr Dracula said to his wife, how dreary, how dreadful, a wonderful life. Ooh. Can you see? Then later that year came a bundle of joy. A Dracula baby arrived. It's a boy. But as the boy's parents stared into his cot, the boy started grinning and giggling a lot. His parents both frowned. Are you sure he's our child? He seems rather happy, they said as he smiled. He won't even bite us. He keeps laughing too. He's not very evil. Oh, what should we do? They both tried to teach him to pounce and to leap, to scare all his teddies, to sneak and to creep. But the Dracula child just giggled with glee, then asked all his teddies to join him for tea. And what did he look like? Well, he wouldn't wear black. Not spider black boots or a cloak on his back. Then as he grew older, his dad warned, at night, you must stick to the shadows. Don't go into the light. When Dracula boy flew alone through the street, the children were frightened. Don't bite us, they shriek. They jumped from their beds. They trembled and blubbered and then stood and watched as he browsed through their cupboard. Oh, they're lovely, gasped Dracula boy with a titter. He borrowed bright clothes that were covered in glitter. New clothes brought new friends. He was pleased as could be, but the Dracula parents, they didn't agree. They told him, now son, you must stop this tonight. Go back to the town and give someone a fright. So wearing all black in a thunderous frown, the Dracula boy headed back to the town. He chose a small window and entered with dread then heard some soft sobbing from under the bed. <laughs> oh, who are you? A girl sniffed as she wrinkled her nose. This here is my room. See that sign? It says Rose. Well, I'm Dracula boy and I'm sorry, he sighed. I don't want to scare you. Oh, I shouldn't have tried. Rose huffed. I'm not scared of a boy from the park. I'm only afraid when it comes to the dark. But the dark, smiled Dracula boy, is so pretty. He gazed at the sparkling lights of the city. 
Just can't explore it. The dark doesn't hurt. But first of all, please, may I borrow that shirt? That night, they both giggled. They skipped and they walked. They soared through the skies. They danced and they talked. They noticed the fireflies twinkling bright and the smarter, the smarter, the smatter of stars shining soft in the night. <laughs> I'm tired, yawned Rose, but this night has been fun. Who knew that the moon could shine bright like the sun? The sun, whispered Dracula boy in dismay. I'll never know colours as bright as the day. Rose asked him, perhaps you could come back tomorrow. But Dr Dracula boy turned away, full of sorrow. He thought of his dad and the earlier warning, then quickly flew home just in time for the morning. For nights he stayed in, he was quiet and sad. What's wrong with our son? wondered Dracula dad. Oh, how can we help him? asked Dracula mum. It makes me unhappy to see him so glum. At last, he went out and Mum searched for a clue. And Dracula Dad said, I know what to do. As Dracula Boy fluttered down from the skies, his parents said, Look, son, we have a surprise. Ooh. They painted the walls in his bedroom so bright with a big yellow sun and green trees and a kite. His parents looked down at the daisy speckled floor and grinned as they heard a small knock at the door. Oh, how pretty. Oh, look at this. The Draculas watched as Rose stepped through the smoke. She gave her new friend a long rainbow bright cloak and giggled, hello. I've come round for the day. Now tell me, what games are we going to play? His parents beamed up at their colourful Dracula. Son, smiled Mum. You look really spectacular, Dracula Dad said. Now go, have fun. And Dracula Boy, well, he glowed like the sun. And on the very back, you can see he's influenced this entire family. They've decided to shed the grey, shed the black and dabble in some brighter colours. Can you see? Very beautiful. And that is Dracula Spectacular. So I hope you guys enjoyed the story and listen out for more the library is doing their very best to bring you stories and entertainment in this worrying time so hats off and claps for them as well everybody because the library is my favorite place on the planet absolutely love the library um i wouldn't be the person i am today without books if i'm honest so i hope you're all enjoying stories with your guardians your parents and your brothers and sisters keep reading because they are magic and they are the best magic you can possibly have at a time like this so see you guys thanks for listening bye